Um, man, I feel like I'm just going to change my mind as soon as I stop, but it'll be too late because I will have said I will have said it, and then I will be, <laughs> and then I will feel, and then I will feel bound to a to stick with my deal. In May 2022. David Wood shocked the world by announcing he was going to delete his channel of 700,000 subscribers on July 4th. A month later, his plans had not changed. But a couple days after that, the channel was gifted to Hatun Tosh and deletion was avoided. I 100% believe that this was God's providence at work. Check out my video, How God Used Me to Change David Wood's Mind, linked above for the full story. The culminating event was a 22-minute conversation between David and I, where David literally changed his mind live on the air. On Monday, I'll be streaming with David to get an update on his own plans and to get his perspective on the future of Christian apologetics and Islam. While you wait for that, here is the conversation that changed history. So then the other housekeeping matter I have for you is I also put out a video suggesting that instead of actually deleting your channel, that you just delete all the content and then you either give the channel, I suggested to Anthony Rogers, or you sell the channel. And of course I suggested to myself for that. Um, yeah, and you, uh, I, I, wa I watched your video. I watched your video specifically because you, you asked me to watch it in the uh in the email about this uh about this live stream and so it was cool because when i when i said hey uh let's do this live stream it was oh i remember i agreed in the past to to work with thaddeus on something so and then you mentioned it said hey two birds with one stone and then uh and but then you said it in that video you said it in the video so i clicked on the video and then you said it in the video said hey you said you you said we'd do something together so <laughs> this could be it so anyway worked out perfectly anyway you you made a good case for, for anyone who doesn't know what's been going on i mean i'm sure if you're watching here you know uh i'm deleting uh, my channel i'm scheduled to delete my channel on july 4th um most of the people who say, no, what a stupid idea, did not watch the videos that I put out explaining what I'm doing. You just, and everyone, I mean, a bunch of those people seem to think, I'm just leaving everything and going over here and I'm going to be, a, be on a website. Not my plan at all. If that were my plan, I would say, yes, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. That's, that's, that's not what I'm doing. Um, but an important part of future plans involves destroying and deleting this channel just sort of getting it all out of the way it's too much of a it's too much of a hassle type situation and thaddeus you made a really good case for selling it you're like hey people already gave you the money to fund stuff but you can always use some more money in a you know am i right and it's actually something in my head because you know i actually add up okay here's how much i need for this here's how much i need for this and so i ask people to support that and then they give me way more than I asked for. And I think, ha ha, I've got way more than I need. But I know from history, I know from the history of my life, as soon as I get started, all these additional things are going to come into play. And it's all, it's, all, it's all going to cost piles of money. I just know that from experience. Uh, and so you gave the right pitch. What you underestimated, <laughs> what you underestimated in in your video, in your, <laughs> in your case for why I should... Uh, uh, give away the channel or sell the channel um and have people delete the videos there's a reason for deleting the videos ladies and gentlemen there's a there's a purpose you agree that there's a reason for deleting the content right there's an important role that all of this plays if you don't know what it is and you're just going no keep it all as an archive you did not listen to anything i said and what you're telling me i'm not talking to thaddeus now i'm talking to those of you who say just keep the channel as an archive you did not under you you did not watch anything i said or did not understand it because there is a very important reason for deleting the channel as far as being on the internet for a long period of time. Um, the way they are coming at this channel, they will ban you forever, period. Um, and then you then you can't be on ever again. So that's what some of you are saying. When you say, keep it as an archive, great. You're saying, hey, three, four, five months from now, be banned completely forever. Um, so there's a reason for taking a different approach. I've got a way to beat the system. What Thaddeus is saying is he's got a solution that takes into account everything I've said 
and doesn't involve completely deleting the channel. Just delete the content, give it to someone else or sell it or sell it to Thaddeus and then keep it as a channel. And then that person then has all those, has, has all, all those subscribers and so on. And so the only, the only flaw there is you underestimate how hilarious I think it would be to delete my channel. <laughs> so I just think it's, I know other people don't think, don't think like this. If you're, if, and I don't know if it's a psychopath thing or whatever. Uh, I think it would be hilarious. I think it's just hilarious to take something and then destroy it in front of everyone to show <laughs> that guys, you shouldn't be putting your trust in it. Hey, you can do this with anything. I would think it's funny, right? If like, if some rich guy went out and bought a Lamborghini and then just smashed it to pieces or something, I would think that's, uh, that's, that's hilarious, right? Guys, I just bought a Lamborghini. I do not need this Lamborghini. Get rid of this Lamborghini. And it was just destroyed. I would, I would think that's hilarious. Anyway, so there, there's this added, there's this added thing of, uh, I don't know. I think people are way too attached to things. And, uh, if it were me, I would probably delete my channel every couple of years just to get a fresh start, uh, just to get a fresh, just to, to start over and get a, a fresh, start. but uh, I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this. So you made a, you made a good case and, uh, earlier today, I would still, I was, I'm granting the the possibility that something could change my mind because, you know, God could give me a sign or something like that, or someone could make a, you know, an airtight case, but I was still like, you know, 99 to one in favor of deleting my channel. The only, the only, <laughs> the only serious doubt I had just about that was Hatun, uh, Hatun just getting, uh, her Quran stolen, a Quran that I gave her as a gift stolen. And then people cheering, people cheering for her getting arrested because she got, she got strong armed. And then I was just thinking, man, it'd be hilarious to just give Hatun my channel, right? <laughs> so I was thinking that, but then, but then I was thinking, oh, okay. After I thought that I was like, okay, well, I guess it's, I guess it's possible to give my, to give my channel. But at the same time, DCCI has like 50,000 subscribers, so they don't exactly they don't exactly need my help. Yeah, I think they might have been in the top 10 as well. It's definitely near the top 10, if not in it. Um, another channel. Yeah, it looks like number seven. I just put up my list. So it's technically number seven. Um, so I would have made this list if we were just looking at all channels, but definitely too large for today. All right. So given, given, uh, given my response to your video, any, any final thoughts on that? <laughs> I know that. Keep in mind, I know this will sound stupid to to everyone. I just want to. Um, your average person would think that it's not funny at all to destroy something that you've worked 13 years on. Um, I I've, I've just been like that my entire life, and I don't think it makes. You'd think that someone live, who lives life like that is gonna is going to. It's just going to be one big disaster. But it's cool because every time you get yourself into the situation, just burn everything to the ground, it forces you to be extra awesome in what you're taking off next because everyone is saying you just screwed up everything. There's no way you can make it back from this now. You just made the dumbest decision ever. And then so it forces you to go, oh, really? Oh, really? You think that's going to you think that's going to stop the dizzle? You think that's going to stop the dizzle people? So um, it actually it actually works out. Like, I have no doubt I'm about to put out some of the greatest content that's ever been seen in the history of YouTube, even better than all the other content uh, I've put out over the years. But uh, what, what, are your, what 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 are your thoughts on this, Thaddeus? Yeah, I, I'd say that's, you know, that's a fair response. That's a, a good response. Um, you know, I, I'd suggest continue to, to think it over and maybe consider that if you are not able to delete your channel during that live, live stream, if you had to delete it, it you know, an hour later or whatever, maybe then reconsider. And I'm here. <laughs> so, uh, and, and ju ju just so you know, Thaddeus, as soon as you started suggesting bidding, other people started saying, whatever he bids, we will outbid him. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there are people offering giant piles of money uh, for, uh, for, for, the, for the channel here. Um, yeah, Bob told me he was going to outbid me. Bob, 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 Bob put in a, Bob put in, Bob said he'd outbid you on, on, on anything. <laughs> hey, but by the way, you, you know, Bob, 
Yeah, uh, he has a monthly fellowship for YouTube apologists, and I've been participating in that. What, uh, you ever think about doing like a super group channel? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? That. You know what I'm talking about? Like yeah. super group? Like, 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 you pick like four or five people and you, you guys all post on a channel? Yeah, that idea never occurred to me, but I, I get what you're saying. Very interesting idea. I'm just, I'm just saying because, I mean, part of the problem is I don't want to be like, uh, oh, here, here, Thaddeus, here's the channel. Uh, I'll accept your bid uh, and not let Bob outbid you. And then like, but mm -hmm. I like, Bo I like Bob, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> right. <kinda. laughs> well, 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 there you go. Uh, Bob and I can go in together and, and, you know, we can get anyone else who, who wants to contribute some money to, and, and we can all be a super group on the well, here, former here, Antine Apologetics. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. Uh, I don't want to, just because again, I know for a fact, I, uh, it, it is a problem. Um, I always massively underestimate how much time something is going to take i always m massively underestimate how much money things are going to cost um it, like just so everyone knows i mean i think it's a mental defect because i'm the guy who sits there watching the mma fight going man i could take these guys <laughs> i just I, I just hit him like that right when he came in and i know i know it's false right i know i can't do it but that's how i feel i feel like none of these guys could could stop me and so on so i'd like these delusions of indestructibility and so on so uh i always seriously underestimate what it's going to take to to get stuff done so i actually do not <laughs> i actually wouldn't want to turn money down at the same time i'm not sure i wouldn't want to bankrupt a bunch of apologists unless you guys just have massive uh stacks of of cash sitting around uh i bef just so you know i also <laughs> I also do, I, I'm also kind of spur of the moment. Um, I have gotten more used to changing my mind once I hit mid forties, once I hit mid forties, it just sort of changed all of a sudden. Um, because back in the day, you, once I, dis, once I set my mind on something, you would literally have to saw my head off to get me to stop because there was, there was nothing that was, that was going to stop me. Uh, I'm going to blurt this out now without seriously thinking about it. If you wanted to run the ch and again this is only because the people with tattoo yesterday ticked me off enough to say how can i how can i do something that will annoy them and uh <laughs> giving hatoon more access to something would uh would would help that if you wanted to put together a little super group of like four or five people who can all use the channel. It doesn't mean they're posting all their content. I think it's good to have your own channels and then like, you know, once a week or something like that, each person, you know, tosses something into the mix or something like that. Um, man, I feel like I'm just gonna change my mind as soon as I stop, but it'll be too late because I will have said, I will have said it and then I will be, <laughs> and then I will feel, and then I will feel bound to, a, to stick with my deal. Uh, if you wanted to, take the channel stick with your deal as far as you know deleting the content except for maybe let's say 10 view if you're if you're doing it as a super group you can actually leave a few things up like Nabil's testimony uh, a couple of the the higher a couple of the a couple of the videos that have performed long long term uh, and still get lots of views just to keep things going uh, I would take your introductory bid you run the channel, but you put together a super group, keep around 10 of my videos that still get lots of views and you guys can run it as a, as a super group. Um, I could, I could, I could live with that, but <laughs> I know as soon as I'm not live, I'm going to change my mind. But, uh, <laughs> uh, any thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I say that's a great idea. That's actually better than my idea of giving it or, or selling it to me is making it a, you know, a community effort that, uh, you know, we each put up, say, a quarter of our content here and the other three quarters on our own channel or whatever the exact amount and uh, use it as a, a um, apologetics community and apologetics empire, if you will. Um. 
And then we have Kalman Sarah says, would David still be able to still be able to be permanently banned from YouTube even if others own the channel? No. No, that's the point. Um, yeah, to, to be clear, David would sign over legal ownership of it. So YouTube could not ban him. Uh, they could only ban whoever was the owner, which would presume possibly be me. So <laughs> they could ban me, I suppose, but they couldn't ban David. Uh, yeah, it's the channel. It's the channel. Um, yeah, it's whoever owns the channel uh, is in trouble if the channel gets banned. Um, Anna says, I hope D. Wood has prayed about this. I have uh, thought about it. Actually had the desire to delete my channel and start over uh, for years. Didn't because there was too much cool stuff happening. And so it was with the, with the, with the YouTube annoying me, and the, the trust and safety team annoy me. It was just kind of pushing me, pushing me over the edge uh, a little bit. Right. So I already kind of wanted to do that. Um, oh, look, we see the problem here. Adam Seeker says, Hey, David, you run it and allow others to post videos on it. Um, no, Adam, that was the point. I need to get away <laughs> from this channel because I'll, I'll break it down in a nutshell for everyone. Uh, even though I've explained it in videos before. <clears throat> the YouTube rule is if you get banned on one channel, you're banned on all of your channels. That's, that's the official rule. Some people, some people don't follow that rule. They'll, they'll, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm suspended for a week over here. So I'll go post over here. Uh, if they catch you doing that, they give you a strike. They give you a, they give you an extra strike. Um, and if they just totally ban you for one channel, they'll just ban you. You're not allowed to have, you're not allowed to be on YouTube anymore. I've come up with a solution to all of that to make everything I'm doing unbannable. So the safe content, uh, maybe I have a YouTube channel and I post my safe content, other stuff that's posted on other platforms. And if people should upload that to YouTube, uh, it's not me doing it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me, right? Uh, so yes, it involves, it involves destroying this channel. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know what a good idea is. All right. So we, we rename the channel the Apologetics Empire, and we I, I I have a relationship with Adam, I have a relationship with Hatoon, I have a relationship with Bob, so I, I definitely can get several people involved. I'm sure that no one is going to turn down that opportunity to, to post on this channel. So, all right, so. As far as what we're talking about here, are you proposing to buy my channel, you own it, and then you run it as a super group? That would be the proposal. So I'll take the legal ownership uh, aspect, but I, everyone else who is picked to be part of the group, and you could tell me who you want me to, to, to ask to be part of it, but um, whoever is picked, they would have access to, to post, but I would be the legal owner. Um. Yeah, and, and I mean, it helps to just have one person who gets final say and stuff like that. And yeah, you'd be the you'd be the owner. But um, yeah, that makes sense. And no, you don't. But by the way, I mean, if you own it, you don't need to listen to me. But uh, I'll toss you. Some well, I, I just meant, you know, for recommendation. We'll call it recommendation. Yeah, we'll call it recommendation. I, actually, we should be clear that you would not be you would not be telling me what to do because, uh, you know, we don't want YouTube coming back and saying this is just a front. Yeah. So definitely be clear here that it would be my decision as to, to what was posted. And, uh, you know, I would listen to what David had to say if he if he told me anything. He may not even tell me anything. I don't know. But uh, it, I would listen, but it would be my decision ultimately. All right. Well, um, <laughs> man, I really want to delete my channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh gosh what would i do on july 4th? i guess i could just delete like a thousand plus videos live <laughs> well yeah you could you could have the live stream you could delete the videos and you could invite uh, a number of us on and we could you know discuss what we're going to be doing with the channel uh you could also put up a community poll and see what people want you to do but i i bet you it's going to be overwhelmingly not delete so it probably won't tell you anything you don't already know. Gosh, this is tough. Um, 
because, I mean, keep in mind, I thought about it for a year and a half before I decided, okay, I'm going to delete my channel. And then everyone's saying, don't delete my channel. I'm thinking, ha, 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 guys, don't you realize I already decided and there's no turning back now? <laughs> and then people offering me money and thinking, ha, ha, you think you're going to win me over with money? And then last second, last second, right before you and I do this live stream on, on channels and so on, Hatun gets arrested for having her Quran that I gave her stolen <laughs> right and then me thinking what can i do to annoy people um so i mean by the way when i said like divine sign i don't know if that's a divine sign or something like that but that's the sort of thing i look for because uh the the kind of the only thing that would overwhelm hey this is the this is the path i've chosen and now i'm stuck to it is someone really annoying me and want me wanting to tick them off that's always a uh, for future reference, if for future reference, uh, Thaddeus, uh, if you're ever in a situation where I've decided to do something, you want me to do something else, that's how to that's how to put it. <laughs> but David, look what that person did over here, and how think how annoying it would be if you did this in response. That's uh, yeah. All right. So um, let's talk offline. Um, I might have something to say about that. Uh, divine providence as well. I don't want to claim anything on the air, but uh, I have some more information that might be relevant in that, in that regard. All right. I will tentatively lean in that direction with the understanding that other things could happen uh, in the next several days. Um, Absolutely. Because I will be talking to I will be talking to other people. Like I uh, I want to get Hatun on here in the next couple of days, and I think she said she's available after uh, something like after Tuesday or something like that. So I want to talk to her. Because keep in mind, keep in mind, I'm saying this here. Um, if Hatun says, because I said I'm not sure she she'd want to just have the channel because they they already have a, a really good channel. If Hatun said, you know what, I just want the whole channel, I'd give it to her. I'd give it to I'd give it to Hatun heartbeat <laughs> just to tick just to tick people off um i do like the idea of a of a super group uh run by you though so um we will uh tentatively stick with that all right ladies and gentlemen and uh, and i'm yeah, and i'm yeah. and i'm i end up going to go back and read through the comments here on what other people are thinking uh because this is this is some of the stuff up when, when i say i'm deleting my channel that's because i've thought about it long and hard when i come up with hey hey look, instead do a super group that's like that's uh, off the top of my head type stuff. And so there might be things I'm ignoring here. Absolutely.